Um, I first met Paris when I started my new job in Waco and um, it started with him holding the door open for me and then eventually it just led to me sitting in the parking lot and then questions like where's lunch today and so from there it just started a friendship and then he asked me to go running one day and so I decided to go and that was our first outside experience together and uh, I probably shouldn't have done that but um, from there we just started a good relationship and the first question he ever really asked me was what's your relationship with Christ like and I just knew that was something different I'd never been asked that before so that's how he was the one for me well it all started back at Alan Samuels Alfa Romeo Fiat um, I was a lube tech there just doing my thing and every day my daily routine consisted of getting everything ready in the oil bays um, and then there's this girl that always walks in uh, usually in a hurry. I never knew the story behind it, but uh, she would always walk in and, you know, just the polite nature of myself being to open the door for, you know, any lady that's coming in. I don't know what your day's like, um, but I know that it could brighten anybody's day just with a smile and a word. So I went ahead and made sure to open that door every morning um, that she came through and uh, just say good morning or anything of that nature, just small talk. I knew this girl was different. I didn't know what it was, though. One day, um, we ended up walking the same direction. And so I said, what's on the menu today? And um, she actually uh, made a comment about looking at apartments. Turns out the one that I live at was the one she was looking at. I told her about that conversation bloom. And sure enough, uh, I got a Facebook friend request. And that's how you know it's real. So. After the request, I accept. There's communication, and she was asking what I was doing. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna go run, you should come. I invited her out running. She didn't like it very much. Uh, about an asthma attack later, you know, we're back at my place, and we're talking and having a good time. This girl was different already to me. She was special because she decided, out of her long day of work, to spend time, you know, working out with me. So, proceeded to have probably the funniest 30 minute conversation I've ever had. Something was different about this girl already, but the fact that she could have a conversation and make me laugh from my soul. There's only one other person that's done that, and that's my sister, and that's my best friend. So ultimately, you know, I knew right then that that was companionship that was gonna last, whether or not she would just be a sister in the Lord, a friend of mine, or my future wife. Um, but I knew something was coming. So uh, sure enough, there was a message that I sent uh, because I knew that God was compelling me to, uh, to make my intentions whole, uh, to intentionally uh, pursue or seek. You know, there's no games. You, you, can't, you can't be lukewarm when it comes down to the word. And, and uh, I asked her against my strongest, you know, will, which I, I knew I'd probably scare this girl off, run her off. I asked her, what's your personal relationship with Christ like? And her answer so many words blew me away because I knew that I had found the one that was going to run that race with me, with Christ.